What's up friends, today I want to show you how you get add-ons in classic World of Warcraft and classic era, World of Warcraft Season of Discovery and World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. The only things you need is Curse Forge and Winra or 7-Sip like uh, Win-Sip to unpack things. There are two ways of installing add-ons which I want to show you in this quick guide. So the first way is you click right click on your icon, open your saving path and find the folder interface or make a new one with right click and a new folder. In that interface folder you will make a new folder that's called add-ons in the way it is here pronounced and then you can just download your add-ons from the internet and from some sites to get your add-ons that you want in classic World of Warcraft. But there is a more easier way. Um, instead of getting one by one uh, add-on and just uh, put it into the interface uh, folder because there is a tool that is called Curse Forge. You can just download it, I will link it uh, as I will link Winra in the description so you can easily download it from there. If you have downloaded the application, uh, you double click it to start it and we can check out what's in there. On the left side there is a little plus where you can just add a game. Um, in my case, uh, in the same uh, direction path as I showed you before, I have the World of Warcraft Classic installed. On my hard disk E, I got the World of Warcraft Classic application. So this is the path that I will link to Curse Forge. Here on the right side, you can see it, the E World of Warcraft Classic era game. It's the same path as I said in another video because classic world of warcraft classic season of discovery and uh, classic hardcore is mm -hmm. in like one game intended you just have this one folder where you can link curse forge with world of warcraft basically and in there you can find many many add-ons I will go through them all right now but I first want to show you how you can browse your own add-ons um, every add-on that I will show you, you can easily download with like two clicks and it's uh, all done by itself. It only takes like the downloading time and it will unzip uh, directly into your World of Warcraft folder so you don't have to do anything more. If you want new add-ons, you can just click on Bros and um, there is then a role as list where you just can see new add-ons and stuff in which game version it is like you can uh, use Curse Forge even for the War Within or for classic World of Warcraft as I do so you have many many possible ways to use Curse Forge. In my case I want uh, Octonator 2 because that's for self purpose and selling things and stuff but uh, that doesn't matter for the video now I just want to show you my add-ons now. Which add-ons do I use, what are the benefits of that add-ons and why do I use them? I think it's pretty interesting because many people ask me which add-ons are you using, what is your preferred add-on, what are you doing, what are the add-ons doing, do you have any UI things that uh, you change and stuff and I really really like some enhancements into the game which makes the World of Warcraft life a little bit easier and uh, I pretty enjoy the add-ons that I have right now. So we will begin with Atlas Loot Classic and this is basically the complete loot table that's available in World of Warcraft Classic at the moment. So it's pretty interesting for raids and dungeons and stuff and the PvP gear, what other stats, you can check it out and it's pretty pretty cool. Then I have uh, Atlas Loot Classic Season of Discovery. Um, the last one uh, in game version 115 has uh, some bugs because uh, of that I don't use it anymore. Then there's uh, Atlas Loot Classic in the game version 115.3. That's the actual game version at the moment. So this is the only one that's l working right now. You can see the latest version here and you have some uh, more things that you can check out instead of the game version. There's some uh, outdoor too, so you can just uh, search by the outdoor and stuff and look what they are doing. Then the new add-on that I just downloaded is Auctionator. It's for uh, selling things in the auction house in World of Warcraft. Just can put more items at the same time into the auction house and make it easy to different prices and stuff. Then I have Auto Sell and Repair. It's a pretty nice um, add-on for 
speeding up your leveling experience and stuff because you just run to the next vendor and uh, everything is repaired by itself uh, you have only the repair cost but uh, the repair cost you have which or so because uh, if you don't repair yourself the items are getting red and you don't benefit from the stats anymore so you need to repair and it basically does it for yourself and also sells gray items that are worthless any value um, not the white items only the grays so uh, you can just uh, auto sell the items and have like more backspace in one second if you clicked onto a vendor the next uh, add-on that i can recommend is bag noon so you have like one big bag no matter how much bag in which space you have it's like one big uh, bag where you can search and see what's in the back of your other characters how much gold do you have on every character on that server and uh, pretty much everything completed bank your bag and your bag of your other characters are a nice overview that's pretty easy to manage and you just can check out what's in every bag then we have an add-on that's uh, pretty chill for leveling and stuff it's called backspace classic and it only shows the number how much backspace you have left like if you just have five slots free you will see that little number of five on the right edge on your back it's pretty cool big debuffs is a pretty pretty nice add-on i really really like it and i really really recommend it if you stun a target or a target is using a fab or something like that you will see it big on top of the head and it's pretty good and pretty nice to manage uh, pvp fights with that so pretty big add-on for pvping uh, then you have the chat uh, copy paste it's a pretty nice add-on if you want to join some discord links or something you just uh, can click it on the left side on your chat and uh, copy anything and any link you want from the chat so you can just copy and paste it into another window and, and uh, join like a discord or looking for a soft dress and stuff it's pretty cool it's pretty nice it's pretty common and um, it makes the game a little bit handier and a little bit more easier then we have chinchilla minimap it's like a little enhancement of the minimap with that you can move the minimap and have some little enhancements it's just for the optic i really really enjoy it i really like it it looks good and it's it makes the game a little bit different than it was some years ago and then we have a pretty pretty big add-on for pvp2 it's classic cast bus so you can see an enemy is casting something like frostbolt or healing and uh, as rogue you can easily kick the enemies then because if you can't see what they are casting you don't know when and what do you have to kick it's pretty good it works for pve and pvp so pretty pretty big add-on for pvping and stuff then we have colored inventory items that's a pretty cool add-on if you press b like for bag in the bag noon you can just see which value have the all the items in the bag so you know instantly which have another rarity than the other items and see what has more value and what is like sellable or for the auction house and stuff conrock rogue i don't know what this is so we can skip this one then we have a pretty big change the dark mode ui for classic world of warcraft um here it says it's for version 1.14.1 but you can use it in the classic era and uh, season of discovery too it still works so this is basically the time when it was last updated um, and i really like it it makes the look of the game like it's in dark mode for the interface and it's not like you get a cancer or something from that it's pretty cool it's, it's nice it's a little enhancement it makes the game feel more dark and a little bit nicer it doesn't affect the gameplay or something and the world is just your user interface and um, makes it a little bit simpler and cleaner i think for me it's cleaner then for pve you really really need to get this add-on asap it's, it's deadly boss mods and you really really need it it calls out if a boss of a raid is some casting something or stuff stuff like this if you have to run away or if you stand in fire um this is the number one add-on that you really need if you want to go into raids and stuff um there's the pvp mods too i really don't use that but the deadly boss mode mods it's a must have for raiding and pving then if you want to measure your cock size the details damage meter is a must-have you can see um, the top players of the raid 
who makes the most damage in the fights, who made, makes the most DPS, the most heals and stuff, who decurses the most and stuff like that. It's a pretty nice and handy add-on if you want to measure your deck size. You can just drag and drop it into the right side of your monitor and it doesn't bother you anyways. So it's a little bit more in your user interface but it's clean and you can see many things there. This mount is a must have for PvPing too. If you start a fight or if you get hit, you automatically will demount. So you don't have to remove your horse or something like that or keybind it on the hard way. You just can press like some buttons or your skills in the, your cast bind, you automatically will get dismounted. It makes the game so much more easy and comfy. So it's recommended for PvP, even if you're a caster or something like that, it's, it makes the game so much better. Then you have the extended character stats, it's pretty cool if you want to see how much percent hit and how much percent crit do you have. So it's recommended for PvE um, and if you want to see it while leveling or for PvPing and stuff, it's a pretty cool little add-on which doesn't affect the game much. But uh, you have more information about yourself and your crit and your chance to hit the enemies, it's pretty cool. Then we have handy notes. This is a pretty cool add-on because if you hover with your mouse over an enemy or over another player, you have more information on the right side than usual. You can see sometimes the armor or which race that character has or something like that. Then there's item rack classic. I don't use it much, but uh, you have there the opportunity to make uh, like a PvP set, a PvE set and just uh, go to your bank and click on the item rack and you just click on the PvP set that you have set it before in that add-on and you just can uh, swap the items really quick so you can like have them in your backpack, go out of a fight and just change your gear. It's nice for healing it's nice if you have a druid or a tank class with swaps between uh, dps healing or dps and tanking so you can swap your gear pretty quick uh, with one click that you set it before then we have layer hopper it's pretty cool for season of discovery and classic era because there are some layers and you can see on which layer you are because you don't see the whole world and the whole player base uh, next to you because there's different layers and the different layers are sometimes pretty huge so there are 10 different layers and you just hop between them or can see in which layer you are and you can just write into the world chat and ask if someone else can uh, invite you into another layer and if it works you can see it on the minimap it's like a little enhancement there which shows you where you are on what layer and we have mob health classic this is a pretty cool add-on because you can see the mob health of the enemies pretty nice while leveling and pretty good for pvp too because you can see how much health has the enemy and um, it's just a, like a handy note so you can anticipate what's the next move of your enemy is then there's the Nightmare Incursion Cipher, that's an SOD only add-on, but you don't need it anymore because incursions are not a thing anymore. Uh, we have the Nova Instance Tracker, that's pretty good for uh, doing dungeons and stuff, so you have uh, like a little tracker there and see how many IDs you have run this day. And when is your next lockout? It's pretty nice if you get boosted a lot, if you have like entered five instances in a half an hour you have to wait another half an hour to enter the next dungeon that's just a handy note while leveling or getting boosted then there's nova world buffs it's pretty good too so you know when does the next world buff is free when does the next world buff can drop uh, if someone is uh, giving away the elixir head quest uh, you have like a 13 second timer to lock off to another character in stormwind that's pretty cool so it's like a timer for the world buffs and stuff when something drops and it will make a sound if world buff is dropping. Then we have Nug Energy, it's pretty good for rogues, uh, especially in PvP, so you know when your energy ticks back, so every 4 seconds you get 20 energies back as rogue. If you play warrior, you can see how much rage you have and that's pretty nice if you are playing warrior in season of discovery because there you have many many runes that are working with your rage and you have a little bit better sight on your rage and uh, you can just move it around your desktop and see where you can place it the best and so that doesn't bother you but you have the better appearance and know when you have to move or you have to press buttons or something like that 
Then we have nameplates. That's a pretty pretty big add-on for PvPing too, because I like the big uh, uh, nameplates and those does not like the stock ones. It's basically if you're playing rogue, you can see your combo points on top of the head of the enemy. You have many options to enchant the nameplates and stuff like that. You can do everything what you want. You just have a better overview what the enemy is doing, how much health has the enemy. And it's pretty nice, it's pretty big, it's pretty clean, so it enhances the game a lot. I really really like it and I really really recommend it for PvP. Then Poisoner is such a disgusting add-on, because if you're a rogue, you need to put poisons on your weapon or on your offhand. And I forget it all the time. It's screaming on you, it makes icons in your display if you do not have any poisons on your weapon. But if you do not forget your poisons as rogue, you don't need it. It's just for me because I'm lazy and I forget it all the time. And then we have the best quest add-on add -on in the world. It's Questy. Um, it's perfect for leveling. It shows you everything where you have to go. Auto accept quests. You can um, make your playstyle based on it. It's pretty nice. It's pretty handy. You get everything shown. So you don't have to read the quest text anymore. It makes your game so much easier and uh, helps you a lot. It shows you where you have to go, give away quests and doing stuff, um, looting things. So you really, really need it if you're new to World of Warcraft and you don't want to read all the texts and stuff to know what you have to do. Then one of the best PvP add-on that you can have is Ranker because Ranker is the updated version of Honor Spy because Honor Spy has worked and has done a good job but not in classic era anymore because they updated the pvp system and stuff like that so there are some changes that are pretty big and with that add-on you have like a nice overview what's new how many kills you need for another rank and how many honor you have to farm for this week or for the next week to get another rank or the highest rank that you can reach in that time with that amount of honor and stuff so it's pretty good it shows you and says you everything you have to do you can just uh, skip the scrap junk seller add-on because it's just another um, vendor add-on. I don't know why I have so much of them in here. Then we have simple item levels. It's probably a nice add-on if you are raiding and have some nice gear and want to see which item level you have in classic. There is nothing like that, like an item level or something, but they made a little item level system with that add-on and I just like to have the little number left of your character if you press C shows um, what item level you're at the moment. Then we have speedy auto loot. Uh, I like that add-on a lot because you just have a benefit of all the other players that does not use the uh, auto loot add-on and the auto loot option that you can put on in your interface in classic World of Warcraft. So you have to get this add-on and make sure you have clicked the box with the auto loot option on in in-game. So if you have these two things on and you loot mobs, it will be so much faster. You don't have to click everything one by one and step by step. You just click on the mob and everything is in your bag from that mob and you can go to the next one. That's pretty cool. Then we have a big, big, big PvP add-on and that's Spy Classic. It announces if any enemy players are nearby. You can see with it like through walls and uh, can and can click on the enemy player just by clicking on Spy on the little add-on. It's, it's really a big benefit so you can hear them if they're nearby. It makes an announcement sound. So Spy Classic is a pretty nice add-on. So you, you need it even for Warzone guides or PvPing. So it's a big benefit so you know which level and which class is coming next to you nearby. Pretty good add-on. Then we have the target class icon basically says which class is your enemy. Um, if you play against a rogue or a warrior there's just a class icon instead of the head portray of the enemy. So pretty good add-on. I recommend it for PvP. Another big add-on that you really really need is Trinket Menu. You have to switch uh, for PvP your trinkets, you have to switch your helmet and stuff. 
and this add-on makes it so easy you have some nice clicks you don't have to search your wall backpack to change your trinkets and stuff and your helmet and you just can hover over the menu and if you are outside of the fight it will swap automatically the trinkets so you don't have to waste time while fighting against other classes and stuff in heat situations you just can click the trinket and go shortly outside of the fight and uh, go with a fresh trinket into the new fight. So, so many people use this trinket menu for PvPing, it's really really good. Then another add-on that I really like is vendor price, so you just know the right prices of the items you can sell and the value that they have in your backpack. The last add-on that we have is weak aura and weak aura is such a big add-on. There are many weak hours all outside of there. You can just download presets and stuff and it's basically helping you with the UI, helping you manage things. If you have reckoning on your paladin, there's an icon on top of your head if you downloaded the right weak aura. And if you have a free, free pirate blast or if you're a hunter and have free aim shot or something like this, it will pop out and it's a little bit like retail World of Warcraft, but uh, in the classic version and you just have to enhance your own weak aura or getting the presets done. So you can do pretty, pretty much everything with this add-on and it's crazy what you can do with that but I don't use it much so you can check this one out by yourself yeah these were all of my add-ons I hope I could help you um, getting some new add-ons and showing you what I'm using and what the benefits of the add-ons are I have a big surprise for you here in the end so I will make you a full add-on pack which you can download in the internet. I will link it in the description so you can easy download it and get your add-ons that I have. I will check out that here is nothing double so you don't need to double check it and you can just put it inside of your World of Warcraft classic folder uh, as I showed you in the beginning so you just have to unzip the zip that I will upload and drag and drop all the folders into the World of Warcraft interface folder and you have them automatically in there and if you're getting Curse Forge, you can um, update every uh, add-on that I uploaded so we have like the same add-ons then and I just want to give you something back for your support in the last videos. Thank you for that. Have a nice day, have a nice evening whenever you watch that video and we will see us in the next video. Bye bye guys. See ya.